Y'all, this lady just pulled up and she goes, did I just see you on the Baylor Instagram? So we just finished our tour a little bit ago and they gave me a card so I get to eat at a dining hall. And my mom hasn't been in it. How long has it been? Well, I graduated in 96. <laughs> so long time. Almost as old as Stanley is. Plus two years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. A long time ago. <clears throat> 23 years. Yeah. And they renovated it recently. And we're hoping that they renovate Collins, which is where my friend Callie is an RA at so that I can be a Collins cutie when I come here because they're slowly renovating throughout the whole school. But yeah. The science buildings are amazing. Mm -hmm. The business building is wow. Yeah, so I'm going to hit up some people and hang out with them. Yes. Yeah. And we found out about an option for a full ride, so I guess even though I can um, <laughs> write essays pretty good, I need to raise my SAT score and my class rank. And I need to go to the English to writing. Well, that's a lot. But uh, yeah, and then later we have. Does this say where I live? Okay, good. Um, admissions meeting. Also, my dad, he was like, oh yeah, it's big. But like Baylor seems big, but then also it's not. Like we just walked around the campus and it's not that big. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, I already knew because I've been growing up here, but like. Some people make it sound big just because there's so many students, but really it's kind of a medium university. Right. But it has it's well known for its sports, so it kind of seems bigger than it actually is, so that's pretty cool. And our tour guide said that she always sees new faces and familiar ones whenever she's walking to class, so that's nice. Yeah. Um, and I also didn't know Dr. Pepper Hour was kind of inspired by speed dating, but that'll be another story if I go <laughs> here. I'll let you know how that goes. If I find a Baylor boy at Dr. Pepper Hour, I'll probably be sitting at the library though, because my grandparents met at the library. At Which the one? Elizabeth Bear Browning Library. Yeah, Browning. So I'll be waiting downstairs <laughs> for my Baylor boy. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's all for now. We're gonna go eat. Okay, I need for now. Bye. Oh, here's the fountain, and here's Patton F. Hall. It one. Yes, because Baylor is green and gold. And actually that is the stadium, the person who sponsored like paying for the stadium, the donor, I guess you could say. So yeah, Baylor Lights is a cool thing, right mom? Yeah, it has to do with being a light for the world. Yes, because this is a Christian university, but you don't have to be Christian to come here. Unashamedly Christian. Yes, that's what they say, which is cool because they kind of went away from that, but now that Dr. Livingstone is back, it's kind of going more towards where my mom had. Also, you know, if you know about the scandal, um, uh, sexual assault stuff, there. this is what Baylor Light's all about. It's about shedding light on things and showing love and supporting Not people. Them under the rug. Yeah, exactly. Like the Nose Brothers like the said. Nose Brothers. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, I'm going to take a picture now. It's the Student Union Building, and I stood on those stairs at my first homecoming parade here, and Joseph and I played football over here. Here's the fountain. Here's the Baylor bookstore where I got some Baylor gear when I was little. My uh, famous cheerleading uniform. Here's the tennis court that I probably will never play on. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey everybody, this is where Brooklyn and Baylor were standing whenever they had slushies celebrating the end of their finals and their moving out video. What? This is where, oh, my father lived. Yeah, he lived on the corner next to a big oak tree. Right, oak tree? Yeah. And now we're going to come in and eat. Oh my gosh, this is kind of scary. My brother stayed here whenever he was at basketball camp. He was little. He was so tiny. I thought he was big, but he's not. And look, it's green and gold everywhere you go. All right, we're going to go. Oh my gosh, okay, bye. It's Brandy Brumman. Oh. <gasps> Yay. 321. Oh, she's so excited. Yes, she is. I know. <laughs> yes, she is. Oh. Do you have this yearbook, Mommy? Yeah. Where are you, Mama? Oh, I was in an honor society. Oh, oh you were? Did you forgot? 
Yep. There she is, not her picture, but her name. Her name. So they put just your name for the index, not even pictures. But she's in it. Baylor will remember her. And then what else? This is my mom's best friend. And there's my mom from 1996 in the where the Baylor bookstore. So you can find them here. That is so funny. Now we are finding my dad and my mom in the same year. And they didn't know each other at this time, but they were at Baylor. And my dad said he remembers seeing her and he thought she was cute. I found my mom, but not my dad. <laughs> I guess he wasn't involved that year. <laughs> where are you? Here is oh my, my mom. Wow, it just gets better. <laughs> Here you are again. Oh, Baylor, you're giving us these memories today. Oh, wow. Your best friend again, Miss Natalie. This was before we had email. Before you had email, so they had to go to the computer lab or they had to just talk to each other. Call each other. Yeah, back in the old days. Old days. <laughs> in the Baylor bookstore, we find two llamas, and the salt that says, follow your dreams, and, and my dream is Baylor. talking about you and Stella coming here. And I was talking about Stella and I coming here, and possibly Jabra, too, because we all know um, Lauren has uh, other dreams, which is cool, too, but, wow, look, it's three people, too. I think it's a sign from I think it's a sign. Baylor University. Not from God. God doesn't do stuff like that. That's just us reading into it, but... So now we're in here and we're getting food. This is so cool because this is like renovative. It's where my parents ate. So this is part of it. They have like 15 food options. Look how big it is. It's huge. So I got my food card for the day and I got I just got pizza and pink lemonade. Look at that, she got stir fry. This is cool, right, Mom? Yes, it is. Because this is very different from what it looked like when you were here. Yes. But they sure. still you can see it's outside of Pinland which uh, Brooklyn and Bailey had their Slurpees. Maybe on the other side of the tennis court, but I know it was this tennis court because I walked by it over the years. <clears throat> so yeah, now we know where they were walking. Though it's not a surprise if you've been to Baylor because it's not that big, so yeah. This is where we stood one year for homecoming. There's a dog over there. And me and my brother would play down there. And this is where the Bears Lady and Joy are. I grew up with those bears, so hopefully they stay alive for a long time. Uh, they keep them now until they pass away, because they keep them from when they're bear cubs, so it's pretty cool. And used to, um, some people don't know this, but used to they had the bears drink Dr. Pepper at the games, and one of the bears can do sick them, right? Yeah. Yes. I don't think my mom was involved with other people. Yeah, I think it's Joy, but I could be wrong. I don't go to Baylor. Also, one time I was here, and... A guy walked up to me, he was a parent, and he was like, which one's which? And I was like, I don't know. And he goes, you go here. And I was like, no. And he got angry with me. I was like, figure it out yourself, bro. Like, don't post up with me. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to see the bears. So this is the bear walk. It's back there. And it goes around it. It's really cool. My dad and my grandfather, um, <clears throat> they helped raise some of these bears. Dad and grandfather were in chambers, so they helped raise some of these bears. And now I've grown up knowing about how they raise the bears, so now we're going to see Lady and Joy. She's in her bear cave, but we can't show you because it's reflecting. But, yeah, they're not outside because it's kind of hot in Texas. <laughs> I have the Immortal 10, and it's these basketball players that were on their way to the game. Oh, there's that fountain from earlier, but I'll show you if I can. Also, they have magnolias. <laughs> Shout out to Chip and Joe. But um, here's the statue, the Immortal 10. They, yeah, it's really cool. And I climbed in those trees before. Here's Pat and Hall again. This is, I have an old picture that I took in seventh or eighth grade on my old phone and it's on my iCloud. So I have it on my MacBook as my home screen. <laughs> so this is Pat and Hall. It's huge. And it's gold on top because we're getting gold here. And we light it up so that it's green. Yeah. When they win a football game or any other game. Um, and here's these really cool things. This spells out Baylor Bears in shrubbery. <laughs> There's also a time capsule down here and Judge Baylor as well. 
and oh look more picture opportunities all right recovery and stuff and there's benches like little swinging benches every once in a while and also these they're painted by chamber my dad helped with that i think he helped start it kind of not really but you know um and like these banners they used to have to hand make them especially for homecoming so now they don't do that anymore because they have printers um this is a time capsule <coughs> Here's another magnolia tree. Oh, there's my mom. Probably wanted me to take a picture. <laughs> Which we learned that he's looking at new. Hall. Oh, Waco Hall, sorry. Uh, Pat Neff is back here, sorry. Uh, he's looking at Waco Hall, and Pat Neff is right there. So he's placed right here because he used to know all of the students on the first year that it was here. And so all the students go through Waco Hall you know, at least once. Obviously, if they're passing their uh, chapel class, they will be there multiple times. So he, it's his way of, or our way of having him like, you know, know their names and know the student body. Um, I've taken pictures on him my whole life. And now I'm not gonna come up there cause he's gonna be so hot. And in the winter he's cold. So I'll just stand here, Jay. I don't think you can see it anymore, but if we're near its nest, it's gonna pick our heads off. That happened to our cat, Hunter. He's not alive anymore. He didn't die of Blue Jay though. He was too fierce for that. I'm here, what building is this, mommy? Draper. And I walked through this building with my dad and brother when I was like 10, I remember. Yeah, political science is a required class because there were these people at Baylor who wrote a textbook and now they have to take a class on it. And it was very hard. Ever since my mom was here, so I think, did grandma and granddad do it too? No. No? So for about like maybe 25 years? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Oh, you can see, oh, you can't see it, but it's really pretty in there. Yeah, um, yeah they're back at Emmett building. Yeah, so for quite a while, they've had to take that class. Baylor homecoming video will happen if I can make it to Baylor homecoming. Who knows? I didn't get to come this year. <sighs> yeah, as long as it doesn't interfere with things that I'm actually committed to that looks good for college, I'll be here and I'll make a video and upload it before Book of Bailey. <laughs> okay, bye. Right there. They're friendly here. If one ever attacks me, I hope I get it on video. Oh my gosh. He's reading his Bible. These are arches. I'm going to get wedding pictures here. Someday my mom and dad are gonna get a brick here, but they have these bricks, um, like this. And my friends have one. I yeah, have they also have them at McLean Stadium, and my dad, doesn't granddad have one or Granjo? I don't know. We have some family members somewhere at McLean Stadium for the new ones. So starting an old legacy. She's looking for her friends. It's gonna kind of hard to find. This is, like, look at this. These are just people who paid for a brick, but there's so many other people that are part of Baylor. Cause it's been, oh, wow, almost 200 years. Cause in 2045, they'll open the time capsule for the bicentennial. This is really pretty. This is Draper. And once again, there's gold on top. But if you look at it, it looks like a castle. Ugh. Ireland who? Trinity University who? So what we thought was funny was that uh, our tour guide Jenna told us today that you have to be 75% attendance to chapel. And my uncle Adam did not do that. No, he failed it twice. He failed it twice, so he had to get it together. Um, he's a lawyer now, so I guess he got it together. But <laughs> after, it took him some time. We can walk to the signs. Y'all, this lady just pulled up and she goes, did I just see you on the Baylor Instagram in the bookstore? And she said, welcome to Baylor, like to me. Because oh obviously Lord. my mom was in the yearbook. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all. Baylor's watching me. And they're watching my parents and my family. Isn't this crazy? She's texting her bestie, Natalie, who's also in those stories. Because they met at Baylor. <coughs> and I'm dying, but it's okay. Pollen count is high today. Um, but yeah, isn't that hilarious? I wonder if she's in charge of social media. I don't know, but don't know. that's so cool. She recognized us. I wasn't even in the video. I think it's my shirt. Yeah, maybe. Uh, who knows? <coughs> but, <coughs> wow. Also, our tour guide called that Sid. I like that. Oh, this is the Livingstones house. This is where the first pup lives. 
the first jet and our president of Baylor. So this is cool. It's gated, that's nice. So we can't attack their house. I wanna visit them. I wanna be their friend. Lord Noble, hit me up. <laughs> All right, adios for now, bye. This is their house. Do you see this? Can I be the Baylor president? I think yes. Somebody vote me in. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, but I can be the old lady who works here. Well, she's not old. Dr. Livingston, you're not old. You actually look really good. I don't even, is she like, what, 40? She looks good, but she played, but look. Oh, I love it. Thing thing. I don't know what that is. It's like, oh yeah, see? Workout. Seven movements. Crazy, I'm never coming here. Here's a swing that Chamber paints. Swing. Hi, Mom. Oh, there's a bug. Yeah, get the bells. And the serene setting. Perfect. Mom, you can hear you, so you're mo uh, messing with the serene setting. Yeah, there's a lady that's in the tower playing the bells, and her friend Laura got to play them. Yeah. I want to play the bells. <coughs> but it's really cool. They play it every hour, and at 12, they do it really long one. So the fountain's over here. Our friend Anna is gonna be here at the business school. That's this is where you get pancakes on Thursdays. And then what this is this building? The behind us. Oh, is, and this is where I will be. That's the science building, and then right behind us is the athletic center where you can work out. <sighs> yeah, maybe. Actually, yes. My mom won't let me do yeah, the freshman I think fifteen. You need to do that. <laughs> that's where you can live in a community center for nursing and. This is where I'm gonna go to school. If I make it, Baylor, help me out, please. Give me some scholarships. Cause I wanna be a pediatric oncologist and go to school in this building. This is the building my grandfather would have been at. He used a scientist. Beautiful. Yeah, it's so pretty. Hopefully this means something. If not, it's really common. And here's a river. Yep, the Brazos. The Brazos River. Baylor owns part of it, so they get to use it a lot. And actually, Baylor is one of the universities with a waterfront stadium for football, McLean Stadium, so you can kayak and stuff down it, and or you can, what do they call it? Um, Sail. Sailgating. Sailgating. You can tailgate on a sailboat. <laughs> and uh, Jordan Smith, our tour guide, one, or our pre-tour guide that person, One's said she wants in. to go sailgating. So if you go to Baylor, hit her up. She's a counselor that also has some ambitions. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, she said there's a snorkel group, or a snorkel club, and they snorkel in the Brazos. She goes, that's not very recommended, but they do it. <laughs> this is a fine arts building. This is where my Aunt Jane spent her time. She is an actress now. She works at a theater in Houston. So that's pretty cool. So I grew up going to her plays and stuff. And her husband has even written <coughs> for a lifetime TV. movie. So that's cool. And he's the... He didn't go to Baylor, though. No. So we're not crediting him for that. No. I feel that he is inspired by Aunt Jen, who went to Baylor. <laughs> Don't you think so? No. No. His schooling was good, too. They have a cool tree that looks like it's from Shakespeare. So it's 1.26 and I have a meeting uh, with my mom and the admissions, North Village Fine Arts, I don't know what this is, but it's with an admissions person, I don't know, so yeah, um, once again, Brooklyn and Bailey were th uh, probably there, this day has been awesome. Even though it's hot outside, it's so beautiful. Not even that hot. I mean, I did die coughing, but I mean, the highlight of my day, Baylor posting about us and liking our photo, and then the lady walking up and knowing us. We think she's the professor over the social media stuff, but yeah, it's cool. Also, oh man, I love this school. I really hope I can get in and get scholarship money. <sighs> It feels like home, it's always felt like home. 
Baylor hit me up with some money. All right, <clears throat> that's all for now. Adios, bye. Now we were in the residential hall for that meeting and it was like a Q&A. This is cool. This isn't the one that looks like Harry Potter, but there's one like that. This is one of the community houses. We started at Common Grounds. This is the famous, well, they don't have um, sprinkles or whipped cream on it right now, but used to it came with that. But this is a frozen well, cappuccino from Common Grounds. That you've literally had since you were a baby. I had since I was a baby. My brother had his first taste of coffee from here when he was three. I two. Two. <laughs> wow. Um, and my dad gets the meltdown. He got that since RG3 was at Baylor. But this is our second one for the day. I didn't finish my first one because I just wanted water. But um, my dad was friends with the founder of it. Now it has new owners, but... Jill Mashburn? Yeah, so... They, went to, they grew up in Arizona. They went to high school in Arizona together. Mm -hmm. And they went to Baylor. And now we have good coffee, and they still make the same stuff. I think they need to add the whipped cream and the sprinkles back, though. <laughs> oh, there's Pat and F. All right, adios. Hey guys, it's 9.36, sorry it sounds so bad, but um, wow, what a day. Last night, the Jonas Brothers album came out, their seventh album. Um, their movie came out this week, I didn't watch it until tonight, and today I went to Baylor as a, I guess you would say, prospective student for the first time, instead of just like a, from an alumni family. It's crazy. It's like they're growing up, and I'm growing up, and this is too fast. <laughs> But it's so cool because I'm excited. And it's also so cool because like in the movie they're talking about um, how needed that time apart to grow up and get together. And I think it's cool that that's kind of what their fans did too. Um, even though we're not family so we're not tied to them in that way. But we kind of grew up watching them. And to see them come back together as brothers again, that's so cool because I think that's why people like them because they're brothers and they have fun. And now they get to do that again and you can hear it in their music and it's really cool. So yeah, um, 9.37, so probably go to bed soon. All right, well, that's all for now. So compares, scholarships, please head my way. Adios for now. Bye.